Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about XML namespaces part of web technologies course. XML namespaces are used to avoid naming conflicts between elements and attributes from different sources. A namespace is identified by a URI that is uniform resource identifier which must be unique. Here are a few key points about XML namespaces. Namespaces are declared in the root element of an XML document using XMLNS attribute. And here is an example. Elements and attributes can be associated with a namespace by including the namespace prefix in the element or attribute name. And here is an example for this. If an element or attribute is not associated with a namespace, it is considered to be in the default namespace. And here is an example for the default namespace. The XML prefix is reserved for elements and attributes in the XML specification. And here is an example for, for the prefix. Namespaces can also be used to define a set of rules or constraints for elements and attributes in an XML document. By using a schema such as an XML schema or a DTD, namespaces help to avoid naming conflicts when different sources use the same element or attribute names and also helps to provide a more organized structure to the XML document and makes it more readable and understandable. Namespaces are, are particularly useful when working with large, complex XML documents and when processing XML data from multiple sources. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.